Hey everyone, so I've been doing some testing with the iPhone 15 Pro Max camera and as you can see it's HDR versus log versus my Sony camera and this first shot is, it was a bit of a challenging situation so this is literally like half an hour before sunset, a very bright sunlight beaming down onto my son who is the model in this occasion. iPhone footage exactly what you'd expect to see from the Dolby Vision. So this is what we've come used to and this is now the log footage. So this is recorded at 24 FPS so this probably could look better if I actually record it at 60 and then slow it down. As you can see this much softer, better contrast, the overall image if you were to tell me that this was from a normal camera, I would probably believe you. Here we've got the iPhone footage zoomed in. So when you look at it objectively, it normally looks okay. But once you zoom in, you can actually tell quite easily that, yeah, this is iPhone footage. This isn't something that's recorded on anything professional or anything that you can use prosumer or consumer level in terms of camera. Now you look at the log footage zoomed in and instantly you lose all of those attributes. So you lose the over sharpening, you lose the crazy contrast and you get this softness back to the image that reminds me of a previous camera, my GH5 that I used to actually have. Here you can see the side by side and this is where it starts to hit home just how good the log footage actually is. Now obviously the log footage doesn't come out like this. You do have to add it into some sort of editing software and add a grade to it. But this, I've not actually changed anything. I used the Apple log on Final Cut Pro and all I did was boost the exposure all the way up. And here you can see obviously once you put it up against something properly capable, it doesn't really stand up in terms of the shallow depth of field, the softness whilst also having a sharpness to the image as well. So compared to the Sony, yeah, it doesn't really stand up. This test was meant to have been for the 5X lens essentially. And whilst these two shots aren't exactly the same, it gives you an idea. So this is going back. I did forget to record this section using log. So when I was recording this, I had the iPhone mounted on top of my Sony camera. So the Sony is probably gonna be a lot more jittery, a lot more wavy because I'm not actually run it through uh, any software to actually stabilize it. The iPhone footage is obviously very stabilized. I tried to kind of get the lenses as close to matching as possible, but I didn't quite have the iPhone mounted in the right way. So it was angling too straight rather than angling down a little. If I was to do a follow-up, that's probably what I would do. But here you can see, so on the right, you've got the 5X of the 15 Pro Max. And on the left, you've basically I've tried to match up. I did end up going in too far, so I ended up going in around about 130 mil rather than 125 because on the screen it actually looked even. But obviously, as once I've got it back on the computer and I've realised that yeah, it's it's not quite the same. Yeah, if I could have run this test again, what I would probably do is record it in log and see how close it can actually get. Obviously you don't get that separation, you don't get the depth of field, you don't get that separation in the background compared to the actual Sony camera because basically the lens I'm using is like 1800 pounds on the Sony, which is obviously more than the, the iPhone even costs. So yeah, it does a good job, but when, it, when you're comparing it against the log footage, I think the log footage on the iPhone is a real game changer for anybody out there that's looking to do sort of amateurish projects and just wants to get into filmmaking and content creation. It's fantastic tool to actually have. Obviously it's a very pricey tool, but I'm, I think it's starting to now get to the point where if you want video straight out of camera, just use the HDR version and it'll look great on most devices. But if you want to actually work with the footage, that log footage is now really, really usable. I will have more videos coming, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of those. And I'd really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up. And until the next one, thanks very much for watching.